All right, vloggies, nothing special today. Um, I, as you can see, I am out and about in my car going around town this morning. Had a couple errands to run, so I'm not going to have time to use my actual camera. Got to use my new iPhone 4S camera I just got last night. Uh, it's looking pretty sweet compared to the 3GS. That sounds pretty weird for me saying it looks pretty sweet. Anyways, so I wanted to update a couple little things. Uh, NaNoWriMo, I didn't meet my word goal yesterday because we were out and running all over the place yesterday. I was so tired when I got home. I wrote a little bit and then I went to bed like 10 o'clock, which is like never for me. Um, so today, I've written some already, several hundred words. I'm going to try to catch up. I'm going to have to do some of it tonight because we got more running around to do today. Got to go back out of town, I'm up the road about a half hour or so. Do a bunch of shopping stuff, um, holidays and things coming up, and then come back and I'll work on it some more tonight. Um, hopefully through the night tonight, if I can keep myself awake, I'm going to work writing through the night until tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, and then sleep tomorrow, work tomorrow night. Um, so that's the nano stuff. Um, question for the day. Let me think of a question. Hmm... Yeah, well, I just heard a thing on, on the radio in the store that I was in uh, about a NASCAR uh, driver that actually deliberately wrecked someone else um, during when the caution flag was out. Um, I guess the other person was like a front runner for some, I don't know, some cup or whatever. Um, and in, this guy that actually caused the wreck has been banned or suspended, I should say. He's been suspended from um, uh, driving in the next couple big races coming up. Like, I don't know if his Winston Cup is the big thing they're, wor they're working points for or whatever. Um, but my point is, what do you think um, about someone that deliberately causes a wreck like that in order to get ahead? Um, should he just be completely kicked out for the season and then come back on um, like a probationary period next season? Or... Okay, let's, let's extend the question a little bit and say, is winning so important in today's society that people should go to the lengths that they do to win? Lying, cheating, stealing, bribing, sometimes people even murder, which is completely ridiculous, and those people are, are dangerous in the first place. Um, have we become so competitive in, in our society today that this is what a lot of the youth and even adults have resorted to, um, cheating and stealing, um, just to get ahead. We put so much emphasis on success being, I have a lot of money, I have a nice car, a big house, you know, I can buy whatever I want, um, eat wherever I want. And, you know, Is that really what's important today? I don't think so. You know, I don't make a ton of money, but we have enough that we have what we need, and I'm fine with that. Um, I'd like to have a little bit more. Maybe I will someday, but I'm not going to do anything, um, you know, illegal to to get it. You know, you just got to work for what you want. A lot of people don't have that work ethic anymore. The old timers, you know, where they had to work, you know, well, like 15, 16 hours a day for no pay. Back in the Depression and growing up, working on farms, you know, they had a much better work ethic. I think we've lost a lot of that today. We have a lot of things handed to us. I don't know how I would fare in the conditions that they had to deal with, um, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago. Um, hopefully I'll never find out, but if I do, you know, then I do. All right, I don't have any quotes for today at the beginning, at the end. Um... I'll just I'll just say one that I I use fairly often. I don't know where it came from, but I've heard it somewhere. Um, a smart person learns from their own mistakes. A wise person learns from the mistakes of others. So there you go. You get, at least get one quote today. Um, and later on, I'll go back and I'll add some links in the doobly doo. My needy nation, of course. Um, but I'm gonna end this before it hits five minutes. So I will talk to you all later.